Welcome to this presentation by Admissions Helpers on writing a successful personal statement. This is the first of a several part series that will cover strategies and tips for successfully putting together a personal statement for your application for medical school, dental school, pharmacy school, or other health professional programs. First, the purpose of a personal statement. Why do admissions committees require individuals to write personal statements? It turns out that schools receive many applications and each applicant is in some way like the next. They all have a GPA, a standardized test score, and they all have a list of activities that they've participated in. The personal statement is where you can add some color and flavor to all of that and to help the admissions committee know who you are as a person. It's really an opportunity for you to demonstrate your motivations and to show the admissions committees what it is that drives you and motivates you. It's also a chance for you to reflect on your experiences. And it's also an important place for you to show that you understand the profession that you want to embark on. If you're going into medicine, for example, this is your chance to show that you know what a medical career involves. Some general points to keep in mind when writing your personal statement. Focus on writing a simple, concise, and clear essay. Sometimes, students try to write poetic, philosophical, literary essays that are hard to follow and lack the necessary content. We encourage you to avoid doing that sort of thing and to keep it simple. If you just happen to be one of those people who's gifted in writing, then you're welcome to experiment with different writing styles. But for the most of us, it's better to stick to a more simple and to-the-point personal statement. Remember that you're not receiving points here for your literary skills. Rather, you're receiving points for your ability to convey your ideas in a concise manner. Admissions committees, as I've mentioned, receive tons and tons of applications, and they don't have too much time to spend on each person, so it's good to write an essay that's simple and can be read in just a few minutes. And again, the audience, the people who are reading these essays, are physicians, pharmacists, dentists, and scientists. And so the style of reading and writing that they're used to is one that's simple and to the point. Next, it's important to write your essay yourself. Make sure it's your own language and that this language is consistent with the language that you're going to present yourself with in the interview and the rest of your application. And when you write this essay yourself, when it comes from the heart, it happens to be more personal, more touching, and it tends to have a stronger effect on the reader. It's okay to get help in terms of developing ideas or brainstorming, Perhaps even have someone take a look at it for grammatical edits. But make sure the essay sounds like you and it reflects who you are. And this concludes the first part of the several part presentation. We'll pick up where we left off in part two of this presentation. Thank you.